If you were lucky enough to grow up in a healthy, loving home, life has already given you an edge. Children without positive role models often struggle in school and in life, yet sometimes all they need is someone or some place who cares. Here's V Cooper. You have no idea what's going to happen. You're, you're pregnant and you're like, well, where do I go from here? It's just been amazing, one thing after another. They are helping me get my life straight. I mean, These young women were headed down a path they don't like to consider. I don't like to think about that because I know that if I hadn't gone to GAP, it would be a lot harder for me. This is our academic room. There's 24 girls here. And, and this is what turned their lives around. Their Artemis Option Society offers education <laughs> and support to girls who might otherwise fall through the cracks. We have two different schools. One of them, the Girls Alternative Program, is mainly for girls who are pregnant and parenting. Established in 1971, this alternative school helps young girls complete their high school education, but it does so much more. They're really there for you and they really bend over backwards to make sure you get what you need, whether it's you know during school or even outside of school. They really treat you like family. The school teaches the girls life skills, like cooking, healthy eating, how to be a loving parent, and counsels them on what a loving relationship actually looks like. If you've only experienced negative things, then you're more likely to perpetuate that. Whereas if you're surrounded by a, a caring, nurturing, loving community, then that's how you learn to be. I was in a really bad relationship with his dad. By talking about that, you really realize where you were and how much you didn't see it. It's hard for Dawn Cheddar to put into words what Artemis has done for her. My best friend was part of um, Kimberly Proctor, so I, that's why I left. I left because I was too broken from that, and here I've gotten hope back. We have girls who've been heading to some really scary situations and were able to turn their lives and work towards their vision for their futures. When I graduate, I want to go into pediatric nursing and help children in, in hospitals and be a nurse because I love kids, but I also like helping people too. I'd like to be an automotive service technician, so it's big plans for me. Um, there's actually a program that's able to fund women in the trades, so it's, it's excellent. I'm going to go into nursing and then I'm going to go into psychology so I can go work in the ledger houses with children with mental illnesses. These are really amazing young women. They're bright stars and they just need to be able to shine. <laughs> Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.